in it. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Let me glue that bitch right here. Stupid fucking cunt. I can I can stick my dick up that. God damn it. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. You see that fucking pisses me off. Let's see if I make her smell. Let's see if I make her smell like naive spit. With the naive uh, spit. I got one. I got one. Where, when they weave strap off the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Did I make her smell like naive spit? The oozy, oozy, oozy. Do I make her smell like naive spit? Do I catch her arm? God fucking damn it. Suck my dick, bitch. Now fuck him and try to protect that cane. I see a dick in your future. I see a dick. I see a dick in your future. I see a dick. 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 I see a dick in your future. I see a dick. I see a dick in your future. I see a dick. I see a dick in your future. I see a dick. Dick. God damn it. Jesus. Christ. Dick! Jesus fucking Christ. Dick! God damn it. God fucking damn it. <coughs> God damn it. Suck my dick, bitch. God damn it. God damn it. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ.
Jesus fucking Christ. Suck my dick, bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking goddamn cunt Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Come on, bitch. Jesus goddamn Christ. Jesus fucking cunt Christ in a fuck bucket of nut. Jesus fucking cunt Christ in a fuck bucket. A fucking nut. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus goddamn cunt fucking Christ. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus goddamn fucking cunt Christ in a fuck bucket of nut. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus goddamn fucking cunt. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking cunt, god damn it. God damn it. Jesus fucking goddamn cunt Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus goddamn cunt. Goddamn fucking goddamn cunt fucking Christ. The fuck up a goddamn fucking nut. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus goddamn cunt Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. One cunt. Suck my dick, bitch. Suck my fucking dick. 
fucking bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus goddamn fucking Christ. I curse the whole I don't know, I don't I don't Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus cunt goddamn fucking. Jesus cunt goddamn fucking Christ. Jesus 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 fucking Christ. Let's watch Fox News. I want to see the smelly shelly. I'm getting to the same fucking music. God fucking damn it. Jesus fucking Christ.
Thanks for indulging us here on Fox Nation and just wrapped our coverage. And you guys are doing a phenomenal job. Uh, thank you, Pete. Love some good music down there, too. Exactly. Say hi to everybody for us down there. Maybe not new edition, but something. Let's bring it on the panel. Welcome back. Uh, Carl Rowe, Chris Gatorlaw, and Sandra Smith. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, and our regulars to the right. Sandra, great job looking into the... Uh, Fox News voter analysis. What are you, what are you looking at? All right, a few things. We haven't really talked about fracking in Pennsylvania as we do wait on results to continue to come in there. Views on fracking. This is obviously key in the state, and we know that Kamala Harris flip-flopped on this issue. And so we're looking at how voters responded to that. 62% of Pennsylvania voters say that they favor expanding fracking in that state. Those voters Amen. backed Trump by more than 2 to 1. That was important to those voters. We'll see how that turns out. Another big thing is get... Michigan Union voters. That vote is looking about the same with our Fox News voter analysis when we compare it to 2020. What might, might make the difference for Donald Trump in Michigan? White Catholics. Uh, really interesting. He is at 61% of the vote with white Catholics. Harris is at 37%. Trump <coughs> by 13 points in 2020, he has run that up to 24 points. Wow. That's, That's a big difference. Are you losing on purpose, That's bitch? I wonder whether she, she should have gone to that dinner. To the Smith dinner. Um, she, she may be wondering that tonight. He showed up and gave his speech, and he has had a lot of support, mostly um, based on the pro-life issue. From well, and, and RFK Jr. was cutting ads for the Catholic vote in particular in battleground states. As far as the, yeah, sorry. I was just going to say, I think, you know, when you look at the margins, at least at this moment in Wisconsin and Michigan, yeah. I think somewhere in Florida, RFK Jr. may be breathing a sigh of relief <laughs> because um, he could have been a spoiler in those, but it, it looks at, least at this point like the margin is big enough. I do think we have to bring up the, the youth vote again. I mean, what a difference we are seeing from With four the years smelly ago. Those voters I, I want to see 30, some smelly shit. Going shows. for Harris over Trump by eight points. Four years ago, they favored by Wow, by look at her, wow. Points. Now, this girl right here, she's got some long spit arms. I wonder if my arms are longer than hers. Spit me, spit me. <coughs> we spit, spit, spit. Are you losing on purpose, bitch? Spit, man. Spit. Spit. Spit, man. 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 That a younger candidate would draw younger voters, but Joe Biden drew them in a larger number than she appears to have. Carl, you've been on the back end of nights like this. Uh, you've been digging into the numbers. What board do you have for us now? <laughs> there you go. Where we See began, one. it all comes down to Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. Go ahead and take that fool. I'll stick my dick with that really good. So, so, as you, you looked at tonight, tonight, what did you see as it unfolded? Uh, you know, it, it, as it unfolded, a little bit of change earlier in the evening, it looked like he was doing slightly better in the big city urban areas. And in some suburbs, in, like in Georgia, he was not doing as well. But tonight in Pennsylvania, for example, he's doing better in all four of the southwestern, excuse me, southeastern suburban counties, as well as doing better in the, in the rural parts of the state. Uh, and it is an unusual coalition. It, uh, it's inner city ethnics. It's Catholics who have been uh, decades the principal swing vote in America. If you've been increasingly Hispanic, voters of London. And he's been together in that coalition tonight, along with the uh, working class people in small towns and rural parts of the country. If I could just add one data point from our FNDA on Pennsylvania on the white Catholics, it looks like Trump is running about one point, almost exactly the same as 2020. <coughs> That's about Spit the same. Voters, Spit he's man. also seen a down arrow there. About three points. He's running down below his 2020 levels. So, there's still hope for the blue wall for yeah. the Harris campaign. What are you hearing? Um, 
that there's still hope. Obviously, I didn't love to see the go take a nap and we'll get back to you in the morning about all of this, but we do have to keep in mind that the race in 2020 wasn't called for days. That Biden won Pennsylvania on Friday of that week and Wisconsin on Thursday, I think that it was. So we'll see if they think it's close, that there's vote coming in. There was you know, some conversation over how much of the remaining vote in Philadelphia existed, and there was an extra 120,000-ish votes um, that were out there that could go into Harris's column. Two things, though, that I've been thinking about. One, and Dana knows as well how much I love to throw out a good door-knocking stat, right? So 2,000 door knocks a minute for the Harris campaign. Does any of that stuff matter anymore? And we'll see how this pans out. She could win with the simple road through charity, you know, getting Nebraska second. But the Harris campaign ran a conventional campaign, right, where raising money, souls to the polls, that kind of stuff matters. Will that be the path going forward? The second thing is, if this night doesn't end up going in Harris's direction, and barring some big change, she will have underperformed Biden in 2020 and every single demographic is that college educated women and even with college educated women it was the overwhelming win that we thought it was going to be or that was projected in some of these very prominent surveys. And now fuck have been bring this phone down here. That there were some I'll stick my dick at that bitch's butt. We have seen surveys where he was only up five in Kansas or up three in Ohio. Um, it, it's going to Take a lot of refocusing. Stupid! What happened here? And I was hoping you'd like fuck up into that. That the Harris campaign did, I'm sure, to lose Pennsylvania, there'll be a lot of. Now all you got is pounds! This feels much bigger than any decision about having him on the ticket or going back to spend dinner. So, and Carl, when Jessica just brought a, a potential for 150,000 votes in Philadelphia County, I saw your head kind of swing around. Is that, does that not make sense to you? Well, no. I mean, they, they, they were, they we're pretty good at saying 89% of the vote is in, or 95% of the vote is in, and that not turning out to be, that turns out to be accurate. It's very rare. I can't imagine in one instance where we've said, oh, we've looked at a number and seen 90% of the vote in, or 85% of the vote in, and that turned out to be grossly off. I, I will say this though, I did want to follow up on one thing. Think about what that she had to face. Home. This is an abysmal number when it comes to the approval of the sitting president. No party has elected a president when they're sitting in Congress. Um, so, 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 so
imagine who we are uh, as a party, which I think would be good for the party if, if the trend continues where it is this is. I'm not even aware of this one, but for a candidate who Democrats who really were this sort of and immediately echoed that, called him racist and a Nazi. And yet today I was to see black vote and Hispanic vote going exponentially more than it did before. It's a real point and it's just startling. Well, it's too frustrating to climb in terms of um, the mainstream media, uh, which tends to take the cues that are very easy from Democrats and to repeat the security basis of the charges he's made and now I'm just not about to play any questions and you know whatever about the problem. Could we get ready for a call? Sure. We're going to um, stay here and we're going to go to the 11th. Did you forget that? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Sorry, I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'